Hey guys, this is David, and it's been a little bit, but it is two minute two Tuesday. Minute, two oh! Tuesday. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these, and my apologies for that. Uh, but I, I believe this will encourage you, so let's just get to it. Without further ado, let's give it a start right now. Hey guys, there's a lot of people, pastors, Christian leaders that are saying what they believe God is doing in this time. What they're saying is not bad. As Christians, we have a habit of consuming a ton of Christian content, especially sermons. At some point, so much of it can be hazardous to your spiritual health. So if I can encourage you in one thing, it is turn off the noise. The goal in our Christian walk is not to collect. The goal is to encounter. This isn't a race for the most Mario coins or minutes of sermons we can listen to. Every time we read the Bible, every time we worship, every time we pray, every time we hear sermons, it is an opportunity to have a fresh encounter with the God of heaven and earth. Which leads to my next point. One size does not fit all. Samuel was young and was being under Eli's care. His mother would make him a new robe every year. What fitted him a year ago doesn't fit him now. If Samuel wore what Eli wore, those robes wouldn't fit him. And just as those robes were custom tailored for Samuel, God has a word for you in this specific season in your life. Here's the problem. Sometimes we hear messages about do as much prayer as you can, spend as much time as you can with the Lord in quarantine. But what if God is telling you, hey, I want you to start the business that I put in your heart years ago. I want you to start it now. But if you spent all that time spending just fasting and praying and not working on the business, you're not walking in obedience with Him. Instead, you're taking on someone else's robe. How can you guarantee a custom outfit every time you gather with the Lord? Which leads to my last point. Number three, go to the source yourself. We listen to messages in hopes that we will grow in the Lord. And that's a great thing. Messages aren't bad, guys, in and of itself. The best way you can grow in the Lord is to go directly to Him. Messages, sermons, are meant to supplement your walk with the Lord, but not meant to be the primary source of your walk with the Lord. He's really good, guys. He wants you to hear it. He wants you to know what His custom-tailored outfit for you is in this time, this season of your life. If you have Him, you have everything. Turn off the noise. Spend some time with him. I hope this blessed you. I hope this encouraged you. If it has, like this video, share this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I'm going to uh, talk more about this context uh, in a 10 minute Thursday. Uh, watch that if you can. I want to hear what God's been speaking to you about. If you are willing to share it, do me a favor, share in the comment below. I would love to hear what God's been speaking to you about. This has been your Two Minute Tuesday. Talk to you soon.